Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. We just got the key to the begging door. So let's go open that door. I don't remember exactly where it is. Is it this one? No, Jail Master Key. Is it this one? There we go. Quickly. Okay, we just made it. I'm assuming the guard is still going to stop right there, but maybe they'll walk, continue walking? Uh oh. No, we're fine. Whew. Ooh, unlimited sticks. Warning, the drawbridge mechanism is very sensitive, awaiting repair by the blacksmith. Handle with care. <laughs> okay, so throw a stick at it. Can I burn that? Oh god, oh, 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 I'm on fire. Didn't mean to crawl on that. Let's eat some bugs. Plus eight for a bug, nice. I was just thinking, can I burn that? Eh, probably not. Lantern, gotta be better than a candle. Oh, I think that's a lop writer. Oh, it looks like it's almost out of durability, though. I guess you gotta fill it up with probably oil, I'm guessing. Now this we can definitely burn, but probably not with the lantern. Nope. Ah, oil jar! So I probably need to equip it and then fill it up, I'm guessing. Oh, I need to hold it down. There we go. Cool. Looks like it holds a lot of oil. Should probably save the game as well. I love that running animation. Oh. Uh oh. Sneaky sneaky. Oh. Oh. They can really see me. Yep. That's entirely sight, not sound. Um... Hmm. Oh, I think I saw this in the trailer. There's a... You see that barrel right above them? I think you can push that onto their head. But how do I get past them without them seeing me? They're always looking this way. Can I, like, free throw a stick? Uh... Yeah, it didn't go that far, though. But they'll probably turn around to go back to where they came from. And I can use that opportunity to go... Yes! Perfect. I hear another one, though. Somewhere. This isn't gonna kill them, right? Nah, it just puts them to sleep. Oh, I gotta burn these. Silent door, quick! Oh, 
Okay. All right, we're fine. The rat or whatever it is up here sounds growly. The others don't sound like that. Just in case I gotta knock him out. I'm surprised how sensitive they are to sound. Oh, just barely made it. Oh, that alerted the other one down there. Do they have anything on them, handkerchief? Okay, run! I'm here, but it's fine. door like this back there. I wonder if it had a lever as well and I just missed it. On quiet waters. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that's got to be like the best food. Prisoner log. The logbook is meticulously managed. 12-4. Willem Stout sentenced to five days in jail for stealing a pie. 12-4. The famous pirate Otto Powderkeg remanded to the jails of Dwindling Heights under sentence of death. Execution to be carried out within two days. The next entry looks much sloppier, obviously written by a different hand. 14-4. Pie rat taken and hanged. Hanged did? On captain's orders? This entry is back to the meticulous dial. 17-4. Willem Stout missing from his cell. Disappearance is an utter mystery. Huh. Willem Stout's gone missing. I wonder if that'll appear later. It must be telling me that for a reason, right? Jail map. When you possess a map of your current location, you can hold left button to look at the map. Oh, sweet. That's going to help. So that dialogue box all the way back on the right, that must be the frog. Cool. Okay. Another fate card for something. Tail hearts. Ooh. Tilo's kind of freaking out there in the wall. I hear the blacksmith. There's actually an outside world. We'll get there soon. Hopefully. Yes, yeah, so this just shows the jail, not the outside part, of course. Oh, I can move this and I guess step up on it. Oh, there's keys up there. Ah. Jail master key. Oh, that's going to open up like everything. The minstrel's flight. Oh, it's a drawer here too. Let's refill our oil. Is 
so we just got like three books. How long are these? Because I don't want to just like spend the entire episode reading books. Mysterious message. Oh, right. That's the original one that we got in our jail cell. This is one of the books we got. Unquiet Waters. Hmm. It's only two pages. I'll go ahead and read this one right now, but I think I'll save the rest for later. A Guide to Lake Valia by Arno Rangel. Dwindling Heights Keep. Located on the eastern shore of Lake Valia, the keep at Doinlin Heights has stood for centuries. Originally built for some long-forgotten purpose, it played an invaluable role in turning back the full might of the ferrets of Saltar. It is now occupied by a small garrison of the Baron's Ratguard. Though once a fine building, the keep has long since fallen into disrepair. Wait, I think we've read part of this. I think this, I think part of this actually showed up in the, uh, during the dialogue with the frog talking about the keep. And there's that little, I forgot what it's called, but press Y to like show more information about a term. Yeah, this part we've seen. It's main enemy no longer marauding ferrets, but instead of the acidic waters. Yep. It's become known as Dwindling Heights. Mm hmm. Uh, but this part's new. Dwindling Heights is the last and final post for members of the Rat Guard who have displeased the Baron in some way or another and considered quite literally to be a dead end job. Ooh. So the guards here are the worst of the worst. Okay, so I opened that door. We came from this direction. <laughs> we can open almost everything now. Uh, let's see what's out here, though. Oh, that goes to the outside world. Okay, we're saving that for last. Because if I go to the outside world, I'm never going to want to come back here. Now that I've got the Jail Master's key, and look at my little tail! Look at the little tail! Look at it flip and flop around. Anyway, yeah, now that I've got the Jail Master's key, we can open all sorts of stuff. Oh, that's a shortcut. Nice. Well, this is like Dark Souls now. Any game that has it. Oh, look at the little... <laughs> the little black eyes. Mm. Yeah, I'm just officially declaring right now that any game that has shortcuts that you can open up is Dark Souls. Definitely Dark Souls-y in level design. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did you know Dark Souls invented levels? Ooh, I didn't see that before. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any way to go down this faster. Ooh. Oh. Some money and a bunch of muck. So, like, we've read that there's acidic water that's dwindling, dwindling heights, eating it away. Is this the acidic water? Because it looks like really, really acidic. It looks like sludge. Okay, let's see what secrets there are to unlock. I'm holding a stick in my hand. Actually, I should probably be holding a bottle just in case. Uh-oh. Hello there. That is disgusting. Did this game just have a fart choke? What the fuck? <laughs> Checkpoint pass. Checkpoint pass for the Pesa Road. Council of the Red Paw commands that the bearer of this document is be permitted safe passage on the Pesa Road free of harm or hindrance, as if the traveler's tail was the Baron's own. Well, I guess that's going to be useful for outside. What are all these handkerchiefs that I'm taking? Like, what do I use them for? The handkerchief is in fact a small flag representing the garrison's colors of dwindling heights. 
It has, however, clearly been used as a handkerchief. <laughs> so, it meant to be a flag, but they just blow their noses on it. Okay. I don't know, maybe someone has like a bounty for the handkerchiefs or something. Should probably save the game. Oh, I didn't burn this one. I didn't go in here, right? Yeah. Knock this guard out just to take him out of the picture. Whoop. There we go. Well, out of bottles now. All right, we're back here. Feels like forever ago. I imagine we're probably going to get better sneaking abilities in the future. Because you see, they are surprisingly sensitive to me. But, um... There are abilities. You can see on the left, there's statistics, stamina recovery, sprint speed, auditive discretion, visual discretion. So yeah, that'd be how well you're heard versus how well you're seen. Resistances, and there's also, like, skills here. Although apparently we're still level 1. But yeah, I imagine I'll get to choose some, some skills and stuff like that. Or anything in here? Guess not. Ah, flooded cell key. So that needs a special key. like they were a pirate. Oh, pirate hat! Another part of the attire. Nice. Find a captain set. I need an eye patch, silk sash, and belt. Oh! Oh, sorry. So we need two more things now. I thought we had a silk sash or belt, though. What is it that we got? Um, this. Oh, that's a baldric. Hmm. Whatever a baldric is. I think it's, it's to, like, carry a cutlass or something. Okay, that's our jail cell. I should save it. That's where the frog is. Okay, sewer key. So sewer key and like flooded whatever key. So I think that's all we can use the master key on. Ooh. I think so. This doesn't show doors, does it? No. At least like not whether they're locked or anything like that. Okay, uh, I'm going to head back to the original spot. And if I find any doors along the way that I can use the master key on, I will bring you back for it. Okay, let's head on outside. Yeah, looks like we got all the doors, except the two ones that require special keys. Courtyard, outside world! Quest updated, search for the mysterious stranger. Uh, I'm assuming the blacksmith isn't going to try to kill me, right? Even though they are a rat? Ah, it's just gorgeous! Let's just run around first. 
frolic in the grass. This game's really pretty. Let's get a good look. Oh. Here, guard. Uh oh. Oh, because there are actually, like, guards even in the courtyard. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes, there are, and they're wearing a helmet, which means I don't think a bottle would work against them. Okay, so we don't quite have free, uh, free run of this place. I thought it was like a safe area, but I guess not quite. But yeah, look at this. Let's just do some slow pans, some slow movement. It's gorgeous. Sun rays and butterflies and... Also, I see a rose next to the well. Definitely want that. So that's three pages. Hmm. I don't want to get too far behind on the pages. Let's see. Which one is it? This one? No, that's costume book. M Mara's book. This is the one. Yeah, there's a weird issue for some reason with this. It says uh, right trigger to go to the right, to go to the next page. Left trigger to go to the previous page. But it's so incredibly sensitive that if I even just tap the button, it just skips straight to the end. Like one, three, one, three. Even though I'm just tapping it as fast as I can. So I guess I gotta use the mouse. <laughs> Is that ironic? I have to use the mouse. Get it, mouse. The last village lay two days past, and you sensed Master Lulin would not survive long enough to reach it. So you laid him in the handcart and hurried on. A young minstrel apprentice, all but alone in a kingdom you'd known only in song until then. On you went towards the hills, down rutted lanes, through fords, or fjords, onward until the way grew steep into, and slippery with moss and rain. And there, beyond the something, among fields of flowers, beyond the ridge, uh, was a village. Hamel? I don't know, the font is a little bit funky for me to read. An island in a golden sea. Number three. They took you in. A widow with knowledge of such things prepared an infusion of elderwort to help break your master's fever. You offered what little money you had in return, but the mice folk of Hamel would not accept it. But they welcomed your help in the fields, for too many bucks had left the village for the copper mine to the west. After sunset, they'd bid you play, and you'd sing the distant uh, of distant places they'd scarcely heard of, and would never see. There's another guard over there. I wonder if there's a way to permanently take care of them. I, I mean, obviously not currently, but I wonder if in the future there is. Currently, I can just knock them out. Okay. Blacksmith. Yeah, we can talk to them. Cool. They're not going to try to kill us. Slime jar? When thrown, the jar will shatter, leaving a pool of slime in which unshod guards might slip and fall. It can be used to create a distraction. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what unshod means, though. Like, those without shoes or something? I wonder how effective that is. I wonder how long that puts them out of commission. I should test it out. Ooh. The guard costume. Suit of armor made of iron plate and issued as standard to all members of the Rat Guard. The guards of Dwindling Heights operate under a code of silence. Wear this costume to earn their trust. <laughs> so I guess I could just walk amongst them if I had this. Need a bunch of pieces, of course. Wouldn't they find it a bit strange, though? I mean, I'm pretty blatantly a mouse, right? I'm so much smaller than them. Oh well, I won't complain. Alright there, mouse. 
Good morning. Is there something I can do for you? What do you mean? Seems to me you're lost in looking for answers. For a few florins, I could tell you a thing or two. The florin F is the official currency of the five rat provinces. Its coinage is minted in 1F, 5F, and 10F denominations from a naturally occurring alloy of silver, gold, and copper found only in the Sarastra Mountains. The coin bears the emblem of the red paw on its face. Though some older florins featuring a portrait of Roderick, the last rat king, are still in circulation, Colloquially known, colloquially known as cowards, these coins are greatly prized, for they are substantially larger than their modern counterparts, and so can be melted down and recast in molds struck from the newer coins. Three cowards can be used to make as many as five florins. The emblem of the red paw, I'm not exactly sure what the red paw is, although I've heard its name a couple times, but the, uh, the little thing in the top left of the screen right now, where your health appears next to it and your stamina. Like, I'm guessing that's the red, the red paw emblem. Go ahead, ask. Do I have to pay for each question? May I ask your name? Such manners. It's Rollo. My name's Tilo. Alright. Was there something else? I. I'm searching for my wife, Mara. Have you seen her? It'll cost two florins. I've got... Oh, I've got 31 florins. Okay, sure. If she's a prisoner, she won't be here. Then, uh... Why not? They only hold bucks in dwindling heights. Anything else I can help you with? Hmm. Yes. This place is like a maze. Can you help me find my way? Where's it you're looking for? Uh, I need a map of this place. Let's see. If you can't find your own, I can sell them to you for, say, six florins each. Hmm. The blacksmith fishes through his belongings and pulls out a roll of tattered papers. Anything here take your fancy? Six florins a piece. Six florins a piece. That's a lot. I'm guessing I could probably just find a map. We'll, we'll adventure around and just see how often I find maps. If it becomes an issue, then I'll buy some. Uh, curious about something. Why are the doors and gates of the jail named as they are? The silent door, the weeping door, and the like? They're named for what the prisoner is doing as they pass through the door. Be it as they're taken into the jail for the first time, or let out to be hanged. Hmm. Was it you who helped me escape my cell? Me? No. But I might be able to point you in the right direction. You got eight florins? Very well. Here, take it. Alright, now if you can make it to the top of the watchtower, you might find the answers you're looking for. Just be careful what you're getting yourself into, young mouse. What do you mean? I've said all I'm gonna say. Hmm, top of the watchtower. So maybe that should be my next goal. What are you making? Noise. <laughs> Alright then. Is there anything else? Really? That's it? Just noise? Okay. Need to find a few things. Can you help me? Mm. I need to find the key to the armory. I do? I mean, yes, of course I do. For two florins, I'll tell you. Alright. There's a guard patrolling the old stairwell that leads from the forest down into the armory. You'll find the key on his belt. Okay. Alright. Looking for roses. Need to know your way around this place before I can help you. Mm-hmm. Oh, just back to the maps. Ah, so they want me to have the map of the courtyard before they'll tell me. Okay. 
This suggests to me that there's probably more than just the one rose that I got on the well. Okay, done with that. Um, looking for some items of clothing. Oh, tell me what it is you need. Well, I think the first thing I should probably do is put together a suit of armor, because if that can help me get around all these guards, that'd be super helpful. I can help uh, help you, but you'll need to know your way around first. Ah. Which one do you want? So they just want me to know, like, they really want me to have the map of the courtyard. Okay, I'll just buy that. That's fine. And then I guess we'll try to go back there. Items of clothing, suit of armor. Well, I mean, it's probably, it's gotta be the armory, right? And they already told me where the key to get into the armory is, so I probably don't need more information, actually. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I chose the wrong option. Oh, well. Start from the places I marked. Can't guarantee it, but there's a good chance you'll find what you need. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you can ask them if there's some other way I can do stuff for them, but it's not like money is a huge issue so far. But let's see, maybe they'll give me a quest. Might have a job you could do for me instead. Okay. One of my hammers seems to have gone for a walk. Can't prove it, but I'd be surprised if those two thieving mice in the holding cells knew nothing about it. Talk to the two mouse thieves. If you can get it back for me, I'd appreciate it. Okay, cool. So they marked my map here in the courtyard, huh? Hmm. Can I... Looks like it's, like, selected, sort of, that uh, armor piece on the top left of the map. It's like a little white triangle. I'm not sure what that means. Can I, like, switch between targets on the map? Doesn't seem like it. I'm pressing a bunch of buttons. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. So then, why are there two pieces of armor? In two separate places, I guess? Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... I'm gonna be super adorable in this tiny little container. <laughs>